what's up <laughs> hello uh hi everyone welcome to a video with me i'm aziza aka gourmet pens we are gonna be looking at a new pen to me um and it's this one what is this oh it's the platinum prefount it is the the new ver or like the the, the more adulty version of the platinum preppy. So I've got four preppies here. <laughs> okay, so this is the prefount. Here is preppy one, here is preppy two, and then they also have the clear preppy. Wow, that's a lot of options. So the prefount I picked up in, at the Baltimore Pen Show from the luxury brands table because they are the platinum distributor in the US. And um, I was interested in this because I actually really like preppies. And I think to help you out, if you're looking for like a beginner fountain pen or a pen that's like pretty robust and affordable and like, you know, a good gift pen, this is a really solid option along with the Preppy, along with something like the Pilot Varsity, um, the Pilot Metropolitan or the Kakuno. But this just gives you another option. So it's $10 US. Very fair, very decent, especially for what you're going to get. So. The, um, since its launch in 2007, the Preppy fountain pen series has grown in popularity among a wide range of, wide range of age groups around the world. The Prefound is a new brand for adults that boasts a sense of high quality while retaining the basic functions of the Preppy fountain pen. High quality, it's, it's a bit, it's like sleeker, it's got the metal clip, you know. Um, subdued colors are employed for the transparent body made of resin and the graphics are also kept simple while the metal clip adds accent to produce a chic, translucent appearance ideal for adults. The nib is made of an abrasion-resistant special alloy and it is... Oh, no, wait, sorry, the tip is a, a abrasion-resistant special alloy welded onto a nib made of stainless steel and it's got the very, very amazing platinum slip and seal mechanism. So in the cap, it, it's got a little spring. So when you cap the pen, the spring is pressed and it forms a really good seal so it gives you um, they, they say a year where your pen won't dry out and I can confirm that these are amazing and the seal is incredible so the um, the idea is that for those who seek a smart and casual fountain pen it is ideal for both business and daily use also recommended for fountain pen beginners so this particular one is the night sea finish they have crimson red dark emerald graphite blue and vermilion orange Plastic pen, chrome plated um, clip, steel spring. The nib is steel, the feet is plastic, and it takes the platinum um, proprietary cartridge converter system, or you could also eyedropper it. So I can, we're going to look at it in a bit more detail. It weighs 10.6 grams and it's 138 millimeters full length and 13 millimeter diameter. So it's not a very big pen it's actually very comfortable for i think for it'll be comfortable for most users um and i really like it 10 bucks really good fantastic beginner pen option but also like i use it too and right now i have it inked with the platinum blue black cartridge because it, mass it matches the pen really well but um like i have preppies eyedropper to just kind of keep them around the place if i just like if I want, when I address a, a letter, like I'll put the date in a different color. So I've always got that preppy with a certain color, you know, stuff like that. And um, like headers, highlighters. Um, it's a really, really awesome pen. And um, I was really excited about this because I was interested about it, like interested in sharing it with you and just showing you that there are other beginner pen options that are like not just the preppy. So I actually really like the clear preppy, but like the prefound is just a little sleeker and chic is the right word. So um, I'm pretty happy with it so far. So why don't we go check out how it writes because it's a fantastic writer and um, you best see it. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a closer look at the packaging and then we'll look in more detail at Le Pen. Um, I actually like how simple the packaging is. It's just a small, like one of those plastic things that you undress. Um, platinum slip and seal. This is the 0.5 size. So there's also the 0.3, which is the fine. So this is the medium. Um, the platinum pre -fount fountain pen. This is the night sea color. Comes with a blue black ink cartridge. And um, we talked about the details, but basically 
the slip and seal prevents the pen from drying out for one year and um, I haven't had it for one year I've had it for four months now and um, I have been using this cartridge I know that this system works because I've used it on other platinum models like the 3776 and um, it's worked with no issues so um, it's pretty convenient if you are someone who doesn't use your pens very often or you just don't want it to dry out it's very simple that's all there is to it so your pen and cartridge is in here and unfortunately it doesn't fit back in it once you have inked it because the cap and the cartridge and the pen body are separate so if that is something that bothers you then you need to carry your pen in some other way um, personally I don't think this needs to be kept and it's recyclable lovely so here is the pen in detail so I tried to do the lighting so you could see the night sea color it's translucent nothing on the top just rounded um, simple clip the clip is nice and springy really easy to use actually really nice for clipping onto a, a stack of papers and stuff um, 0.5 M platinum made in Japan and other than that there's nothing else on the pen so if we uncap it it is probably if you've seen the preppy before it is going to be the same um, section and nib and feed setup so that is what you can expect so 0.5 single slit it doesn't have a breather hole it's just a, a, a stamp of one so just to give it the look of a breather hole plastic feed and if we open the pen this is the cartridge you can use a platinum converter the converter itself is basically the same price as the pen so uh, realistically the the cartridges are fine or you can eyedropper in it to eyedropper you just put some silicone grease on the threads fill your barrel and close it up so it's a very simple system um, the pen is really easy to clean and um, I think it's really cute so in hand it's a very comfortable size for my hand and it posts snugly securely feels really good um, it's pretty balanced and let's look at the nib in more detail nice round blob of tipping on there looking good all right so why don't we stack it up with the other pans i have so this is the uh, older style preppy well actually the newer older style because the older style only had uh, gray feeds and now the started doing them with color matched feeds but you can see that there's a lot of writing on the pen um, a lot of like it's not a sticker right it's actually printed onto the pen so it's not that there's anything wrong with it um, the clear the crystal one doesn't have that um, but it does have the gray feed but you can see like they're the same pen these two uh, and the nice thing about the prefound is it doesn't have all that writing so if you don't really like the crystal like if you want a colored one or you like the colored feed or you just happen to have you know the regular preppy the prefound gives you the option of having a pen that looks a little more um, mature I guess you know something more work appropriate or not work appropriate but looks a little cooler in the office maybe because it doesn't have all the writing on the barrel like I, I don't like all of this stuff this is this one is just a sticker but this stuff I don't really care for, especially if I eyedropper it, it kind of disrupts the look of the eyedropper. Now this one, of course, if you eyedropper it, you're not going to see the ink as easily or as clearly, but um, I do like the cleaner look overall. Now the preppy is a little slightly, um, like it's slightly thicker and has a very slightly different shape so you can i'm just showing you here you can kind of see it's got a different um uh what's it called i think the threads are different on the section nope threads on the section are the same ignore me um, but it's slimmer it's got the cap on the preppy is bolt like um just a little thicker so the prefound is just a little more sleek and a little cleaner 
It also has the very obvious metal clip instead of the plastic clip. These clips do break, or can break. Um, the Preppy does have the slip and seal, but so is this one. So for the Preppy, you're looking at like five, six dollars, and this one is like ten. So it's not a big jump. You get the same nib, same feed, just had a bit of a nicer looking pen. So let's line these up. I also have a uh, Pilot Kakuno, just for taking a look at the size. Uh, here's a Lamy Safari. So you can see that the Safari is much bigger, but in terms of sizing, the Prefound is kind of like on par with the others. Um, we have a Pilot Custom 823, and I've got a Sailor 1911 small. So let's put these next to each other. So you got the small, and if we would like, I can throw in a large and a pro gear. So just so you can see the sizing, um, get an idea. It's a bit dark in that corner. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, there you go. So it's not a huge pen, but it's definitely a full-size pen. Um, quite suitable for, I think, almost all hands, at least for short-term use. But if you have large hands, you know, you might, you might find it a little small. Okay, so let's move these. Let's move these pens, and then we can do some writing. Let's put out the paper. So I am using a Bond Travel Gear notebook, and it is Tomoe River paper because that's the only thing I like to write with, really. Okay, so let's do this. That hard start is most likely because I left the cap off for so long. I wouldn't really worry about it. Oh god, it's not the preppy. Got preppy on the mind. Platinum pre found. It has an E at the end. Um this one I got from Luxury. Luxury brand. Sorry. I always say luxury and then my friend pointed it out and he's like, you're a weirdo. Um it's luxury. I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. My brain is broken. Uh, okay, so this is the Night C, and the ink is the Platinum Cartridge, which is a blue-black, and the nib is the 0.5, so they're medium. Uh, so let's just take a look at it. It's a firm nib. Um, I'm applying pressure. It doesn't really do anything. It's pretty firm. Like you're not really going to get much of a wetter flow. You're not going to get really any line variation. It's definitely just like a firm nib. Um, it has a little bit of feedback. I'll be quiet so maybe you can hear. But very nice, not at all scratchy. And that has been my experience. And I've used like 20, 30 of these um, nibs. So on the preppies and the plaisir and all that. So they're actually really, really solid nibs. Definitely on the dry side, which I don't like so much, but for quick notes, for planners, like your Hobonichi, it's actually a really good option because it doesn't take so long to dry and because it's not gonna leave like a smear of ink. Um, what I do like about this very nice round point, it, in my humble opinion, is very cute for handwriting and printing. So seven while they're painting. Um, so I'll show you what I mean by that. Because it's so round, it works really well at all angles. You can definitely get away with the really fun block letter style. Um, and we can do, this is the reverse, which is actually really nice. That hard start there is probably because I was writing on the reverse. So I'm applying a bit of pressure there. It's basically the same. There's really very little line variation, or no line variation. Um, pretty awesome, right? Really very decent writer, fantastic 
beginner pen. Honestly, like if you don't like this one, you can get the preppy. If you don't like the preppy, this is a fantastic pen. Um, they are plastic. They do feel like plastic. I have never had a preppy break and I'm pretty harsh with my preppies and like the safaris and stuff. I throw them around a lot. They've never broken. Um, I've had the cap on one of my preppies crack a little bit, but it's still going. Um, it actually might be this one that I showed you. Uh, still working. There's nothing wrong with it other than that. It's still performing just fine. So I am really happy with it. I think it's a great option for like 10 US dollars, right? Um, and yeah, so that's basically the gist of the Prefount. Really decent pen. Um, highly recommended if you're new to pens or you're looking for a pen that you can just like knock about with if you want to give a friend a pen that you know is going to work it's awesome get them this get them a box of cartridges you're good to go so fantastic all right everybody i hope you enjoyed i hope this was helpful to you thank you so much for watching it's much appreciated i am gourmet Pens, aka Aziza. You can find me online on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. I'm also on there as Toronto Pen Company for your nib grinding and calligraphy needs. And uh, that's everything. So take care, stay safe. And if you did enjoy, I'd love it if you would like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.